we're going to have to mess with the carburetor some more. But remember, I expected that. I've been sitting for who knows. But at least see now it's staying charging, even at idle. See, I'm wondering as it runs with fresh gas, it'll clean out. See, right now it's going to do it. Maybe we just let it run for like 20 minutes or so. Yeah. I put the meter on it so I can keep an eye on it. And it's staying on the 13th. And it ain't doing that 16 volt stuff. Well, well I guess we got two bad ones. Maybe we should buy a couple of them. How much is it? Uh, eBay was like... 16 bucks, but uh, maybe we should go see Joe and see how much he wants. I can ask him. Yeah. If not, I'll order a couple tonight. We don't need them now. Yeah, but we run it like that. And yeah. yeah. Probably order a couple of them, probably would be. Maybe somebody got a deal on two of them. I could try. Got nothing to lose. Redneck ingenuity would at least keep us running. What the hell? We gotta park in our friggin' yard. I could put a tractor there. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, we're not in my driveway. Alright guys, well here's a story. That tractor would just it would it would charge the battery but then it would stop. And so I'm like, okay, I must have a loose connection. I just tore that thing down soup to nuts. I found a bad the positive connector to the solenoid was rusty, so I'm like, oh that's gotta be it. Clean that up. And we were it has a real good battery, so we might keep it for one of ours. As you can see, the gliders are in full effect today. Which is always neat, living that close to the airport. Alright, so anyway. I don't, I couldn't find another Briggs voltage regulator. So I, I started it up, and same thing. And the weirdest thing is if you unplug the amp meter while it's running and plug it back in you'll see a spark and now you got to charge it again and I was like what? AC I'm getting like 39 volts out of that stator so it, it sure seems good but a little high you know but I'm not positive on the exact model okay so I get it all back together and it's still doing it. I'm, I'm pulling my, what little hair I got left out. So, I'm like, okay, I, I don't have one. And I'm like, well, you know what? You quit. What the hell? Can't drive. Freaking in, in the yard. Moron. Jeez. Anyway, um, I have a ton of colds. And I'm thinking, basically, they're the same thing. You know, it's a voltage regulator. You're doing the same object. So I'm like, you know what? Hell with it. I don't want to cut the wires. So I found some terminals that I found that are about the same. You know, plugged in. So what I did is, so I don't disturb the wiring harness. 
plugged them in at a factory. Got one of the Kohler voltage regulators and I bolted it to make sure I got a ground on the same location. Fire it up and as you can see it's been 13 volts and up ever since. And uh, my stator output is about 39, 38 volts AC. So, but coming out of the voltage regulator, I'm staying in tops I've seen is maybe 14 and a half, and the battery is a little drained. I switched the battery out. So I'd say that's a win-win. So if you ever get in the jam and you and you got no voltage regulator and you got a mow or something. You don't, you know, you can always use a coal or, I figured you would, but, well, keep that in mind if you guys ever get in a jam and, you know, don't chop up the wires or whatever unless you want to make it permanent. In that case, as long as you ground the case of the coal or you're fine. You can even remote mount it. So, alright. Well, you want to cool it too, though, so. Alright.